Hey folks, Zach Pope here, lead designer of Trout Routes, and today we're going to do a tech tip on interactive elevation charts. So elevation charts is a really cool concept that we introduced into our Trout Routes mapping tool about a year and a half ago. And it's a really cool tool that helps you better understand the streams that you plan to fish. Now there's a couple of different use cases for using a elevation chart. Um, and it's really a way to kind of view the different um, profiles of a stream that you're going to go to. So one example is if you were to try to fish a place that had two different kind of profiles of the river, there's going to be like the high headwaters and there's going to be kind of the base. And a lot of times you can see in the elevation charts a very different profile where you'll have kind of the base where there might be more browns and then all of a sudden it'll just like skyrocket into kind of the headwaters and especially out west you'll start to see um, it's going to go really high up in the elevation where you're going to start to see some of the cutthroats uh, and that kind of that kind of L shape is a really cool way to kind of view the different streams that you're looking at. Uh, in some other cases, you can kind of see the exact opposite. So for those folks that are uh, familiar with the North Shore of Minnesota, um, instead of an L shape where you have a very steep grade of the mountain going to the to kind of the flat, up in the North Shore you actually have the opposite, where it's going to be kind of a high meadow stream. There's a lot of brook trout and then it's going to drop off into kind of this really steep waterfall down to Lake Superior. And when you can kind of use these interactive elevation charts, it can bring to life this two-dimensional map that we're so used to into this three-dimensional experience. And you kind of pinpoint where does the stream actually switch from a meadow brook stream into this really steep uh, waterfall area. And then eventually it does kind of level off into the Lake Superior tributary where you'll actually see a whole different number of species. So. Again, these, these, these elevation charts can be incredibly informative. The last and probably the most important use case, um, again, more common out west, is where you can see the different reservoirs and the dams. And obviously the most important thing is these tailwaters that come out of these dams. And those really can kind of come to life with elevation charts. So today we're gonna to walk through uh, how to see the elevation charts and then maybe some, some uh, examples on how to read them. So now I'm going to show you how to actually get to these elevation charts within the Trout Routes app. Now I'm going to be showing you on an iOS phone, but it's the same on an Android phone as well as our desktop version of Trout Routes, which is available at any web browser at maps.troutinsights.com. Now I think a really good example is to show you Colorado because some of those uh, streams are obviously very long and they have some very interesting profiles to them. Uh, so here I am uh, in the state of Colorado. I'm showing the all the different streams in Colorado And I think what I'm going to do is show the South Platte River um, Out of Denver. So to get to an elevation chart you tap on a stream and You'll see that the stream card shows up typically what will happen is there will be a uh, a description for the stream some flags like if it's popular or if there's an easement or if it's a tailwater and you'll also see some, um, if they're available, some special regulations. Um, and in the top right of every stream card, you'll see an elevation button. Now when you click on that, it'll pop you to the entire um, scope of the stream, so the bounds. So let's say a stream starts uh, way in the headwaters of the Rocky Mountains and it goes all the way to uh, Denver, which is the case with the South Platte. The map will kind of zoom out and show the entire thing. And as you take your finger and drag along the elevation chart, you'll see that we're actually tracking the entire length of the stream and showing you the elevation at that point. Why this is really cool, as you can see, is there's a couple of points that it really drops off and then levels off. And right at that point is gonna be where there's tailwaters. Now on the South Platte, there's actually a couple of tailwaters that are very well known. You have the Cheeseman, you have the 11 Mile, um, and you also have one right outside of Denver. And so this is a really cool way to pinpoint uh, where those tailwaters are and also where the reservoirs are. And another example is if you go to the headwaters of the South Platte, um, which is over here on the middle branch, middle fork, and you look at that elevation chart, um, you can see kind of what I was showing earlier where it really kind of is, is fairly consistent and kind of flat. 
which is a whole different stream compared to right here where it just kind of blows up into the headwaters. And that's gonna be where you're gonna see some of those cutthroats. It's gonna be a lot more remote. Hopefully there's a trailhead, and if there is, we'll show you the map. And so, um, again, you can kind of see, we're getting all the way up to the 12, almost 12,000 feet. So those are gonna be really, really high up in the mountain. And so this is the elevation charts, and this is how I can get to them. Again, it's the same on Android as well as our desktop uh, web app. And uh, if you have any questions, reach out to support at troutinsights.com. Thanks for checking us out.